Okay, anybody who knows me knows I'm not a big, I don't like reading. I'm not a big reader, uh, and I barely write. So um, I was asked to kind of do a review of a, of an applica- of a plugin for Final Cut 10 by my friend Mitch over at Planet 5D. Love that site. And uh, the, applic- the plugin, rather, is called Punchline. Now, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about how this works because I'm not a big, huge, well, I should say I have not been a big, huge, plug-in fan in recent years, but um, I'm changing my views on them. So first of all, I want to talk about Effects Factory. Now you can find Effects Factory, there'll be a link down below, and um, it's basically an application that you run that is a shopping center for a ton of different companies, I presume, yeah, because these are different companies, and um, and it gives you access to trial versions of all of these um, plugins in your applications. Now, the other day I wrote a quick review, or, or I think I tweeted it, whatever, about Callout um, for Final Cut 10, which is by Ripple Training. Very cool um, plugin if you haven't seen it. But the one we're talking about today is from Sugar Effects, and it's called it's called Punchline. Now, Punchline is a collection of motion templates, I guess. No, they're not really motion templates because you, I guess they were made in motion. Anyway, they're a collection of things you can use in Final Cut 10 and I want to show them to you so um, the way it works is you get the FX factory um, plugin because basically as far as I know all these plugins don't take much space so essentially you're downloading all the plugins and then when you go to license it see this one's been licensed um, when you go to register it it gives you the serial number and then you go ding 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 and the watermark goes away so I've already done that part so I'm not going to show you that but essentially the store of effects factory gives you access to tons and tons of plugins that you can play with and try until you decide you need to buy them okay so back over to Final Cut 10 basically what I have here is I have a bunch of very blue footage from a a corporate party event um, where they play you know ping pongs and and uh, uh, foosball and stuff like that or air hockey and uh, I just want to show you uh, some of these effects now if you go over here to this uh, theme viewer, show and hide theme browser, okay, you can scroll down. Now, what we're doing, we're going to mess with the punchline. Now, there's a lot of plugins here. Now, a lot of these are ones that have just been installed because I installed that effects factory. So, all of these are here. Now, the downside of it is they kind of, eh, they kind of clutter your thing. And you go, oh, I want to try this. You know, oh, man, I don't, I don't. I haven't paid for that one. <laughs> so, but at any rate, we do have punchline. So I'm going to scroll down here to punchline. And now I can see all of the punchline stuff. So what do I have? I have video transitions. I'm going to scroll down. And then we have titles. And that's what we got. So we have video transitions and titles. So essentially what we get to do is we get to, you know, pick a transition or pick a title and drag it onto our timeline. So first, let's take a look at a basic transition. So here's one of the transitions. I'm going to drag it over, and I'm going to drop it on a trans, uh, transition between uh, my two clips here. So here I have some guys sitting there clapping, and then um, I hit play, and it goes through. So basically, what do I have? I have these cool little arrows, and they go through with sort of an effect, and they trans- transfer to the um, other thing. Now, some of the things I like the most about these plugins, and this is just an iMac I'm doing this on. This isn't a you know super. I mean, it's a very it's a new iMac. It's a good iMac, um, but they preview quite well. This has not been rendered, and I just put that on there. Now you can see it's forty percent rendered here, but it it previews quite well. Okay, so that's plus number one. Now let's say I want to modify it. If I click on the thing, the uh, transition icon here, and come up over here to the inspector deal. I can change the color of the arrows. So if I wanted to, you know, brand these for my company or whatever, I would go like that, close that, and I can change the color of the line. Now I begin to be honest with you, I don't see the line in here. Oh, there is a little bit of a I don't know, is that anyway, I can change the line. And what can I do here? What is this? Oh, look at that. There's just a little artistic line in there. So no line vertical line I don't see where the vertical line is let's play this through again I guess it was kind of in there about halfway through so um, very very um, customizable the other thing I can do with my colors let's see how do I do this I want to hover over here Uh, hello I gotta put this guy here 
I'm going to put the playhead midstream. And then I can change the transfer mode. So this is normal. I have overlay. I have, whoops, changing the color. I have multiply. So there's different ways that you can um, that you can translate, uh, transfer this stuff over. So here's, here it is with no color at all. Okay, kind of cool. All right, so that's one transition. Now, there's some other transitions that are really, really neat. I'm going to show you, ignore that phone. I'm going to show you this one, this Grid 4. Now, they talk about this in their tutorial, too, and it's really cool. So what I do is I'm going to drag this over here, and I drop it there. And then I'm just going to play through it, and it's going to play OK. That's a little chunky, but again, this is still rendering. So I'm going to extend it out a little bit. I got a red line here because I'm at the end of my media here, but that's okay. I don't need to make it any longer than that. And um, let's see, can I make this longer? Now, now I'm at the end of my media there. Okay, short shots. Okay, but as you step through this, you can see what it's doing here, and it's really cool. It basically does this kind of partridge family thing, but it has these other frames of video, and you're like, uh, okay, well, where do those come from? Who's choosing that? Um, and I'm going to play through it. Now, it's, again, it's a little chunky here, but there it comes through, and then it zooms in on that. Okay, so check this out, though. When I put my, my playhead over here, hello, playhead, come over here. It really wants to render this. Hello. Should we just let it render at 82%? So when I put my playhead over here and I select this guy, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put this at fit in the window so I can see the whole. So one, two, and where are the other ones? Three. And which one is four? I don't know where number four is. At any rate, oh, maybe it's way over there. So anyway, these are the frames that go in the little boxes. So if I could just drag these little guys over, I can change the images that are, see how I'm changing the image that's in number four? And that's going to be a freeze frame. Maybe I want that. And this guy, is that three or is this? Okay, so let's step through this. So it's very cool that you can modify all this stuff. Now, just like before, I can change all these colors. Now, there's two th uh, on this one, so I can pick my color. Uh, I can make it all blue. Again, I can tint it to, to match the branding that I need to do for any given project. You can also decide whether or not you want the vertical line. And if you do want the vertical line, what color do you want to make it? So it's it's just very cool. A little, little Corona look there, blue and yellow. Um, now, that's a, that's a very cool effect. There, but there's also lower third effects. So let's come down here to the title section. Actually, let's do um, like kind of a big header title-y thing over a couple of shots here. Okay, so I'm going to deselect that. Now, again, these are motion templates. Even though I open this and I right-click on it, it says open in motion, I'm going to do that, and it's going to try and launch motion, and then it's going to say, yeah, no, uh, contact tech support, you're not allowed. Okay, so um, whatever, I'm not allowed to do that. But I can modify the text. Now, here's uh, sometimes it's hard to actually select the text in this box. There we go. Uh, so this is uh, uh, my title for you. And is it too long? Am I going to be able to see it all? Yeah, it's a little long for the title. So I'll just change it to my title. My title. And there's some other cool stuff in here. Like, for example, once I have my text um, highlighted, I can come in here to the title and I can uh, I can force it into all caps, which is kind of slick, and I can adjust the proportion of the lower caps, which is kind of nice. And if I go into text mode, I can change it to justify left, center, justify right, etc., etc. So it's the kind of normal text tools. And if you have tr if you ever have trouble selecting the text in this text box, which you kind of do sometimes, you can always come into here and say you know, I can change the title just right there. Um, and so that's a kind of a bannery title. And then there's some lower third type titles if I wanted to. And I could go, you know, like this and select on this guy and go, you know, game night. Um, I Here's a big title. I'm going to take off, uh, I'm going to move this, uh, this title down here. 
And I'm going to use this big full pagey title because this one, although it's an overlay, I can also use it as a transition effect because it goes full frame, right? So I can say, uh, well, I'll just come over to the tech box and I'll say uh, game night here. And uh, so now this becomes like a... Um, like a, a transition essentially, a titled transition, because as it comes in, it cuts underneath it, okay? So anyway, that's punchline. And again, all of these colors can be um, changed. Here's another example of one that can be changed. I can change it in two colors, because there's two tones in it. And then I can do the darker color, and I can do, you know, maybe like that. So, um, plenty of ways to modify these things. I can even change the line color. We've talked about that. Go kind of monochrome. At any rate, very cool. There's full, full page titles. There's lower third titles. There's transitions. Very fun stuff. Easy to install. A lot of fun. Anyway, that's Punchline from Noise Industries. Later.